So I did a video a couple years ago on how LED lights affect your garage door opener remotes. Or you can't open your garage door when the LED lights are on. Uh, well, I bought some 2x2 two two lights to put in the ceiling in my garage and I'm having the same issue. So uh, I have the light on right now and I can't open any door, any of them. I'll show you the LED light is on right now. If you can see through the window. Yeah, you can see that there's 2x2 two two on there and a 2x2 two two there. So uh, if I go turn that off, then I'll be able to open these doors. Alright, so I turned the LED light off. I should be able to open all three of my doors now. All three of them work. Yeah, I really like these LED lights. I bought them off of superleds.com and they're about a hundred bucks. They're two by twos. They sit flush on the ceiling. I really like them, but they interfere with the garage door openers. So you can see they're about, uh, I don't know, four feet away, five feet away from the garage door opener. It's affecting it. So I have an order coming in today. Uh, some ferrite cores I'm going to try on the power cord for the garage door opener. And then also the signal wires that come down the side. Uh, so you're your remote on the wall acts like an antenna, and then the uh, the wires going to your sensors at the bottom of the door act like an antenna. So I'm gonna put some ferrite cores. I ordered some uh, material 31 cores and material 61 cores to try either one, and then I bought a um, a toroid to go over the uh, the power wire. So I'm gonna try that. Should be here today, and then we'll I'll see if it works. Reason today in Georgia. Um, so anyway, I got my parts from uh, Mauser today, the 61 material toroid and the 61 material uh, ferrite cores. I tried the 31s uh, ferrite cores, but I, I could only do it to about uh, 30 feet away. The 61 material looks like it's 40 or 50 feet away. I only did the second door. I didn't do the first door. First door won't open. Second door does. So it does clear out the signal, uh, but I think I need to also add one of these to the LED itself to uh, block the signal from the LED to the garage door opener. So that worked. So this is what I did on the garage door opener. I just put the toy around the uh, the power wire. I wrapped it through twice, and then uh, this is the that's the signal from the uh, remote on the wall, and I wrapped it in twice because it I bought a quarter inch diameter ferrite core, uh, ferrite core, and then uh, this one I just put it through once because the cable was so big. I probably should have ordered a bigger ferrite core. Um, these are about uh, I think it was like just under two dollars, and this one here was like close to $13 so yeah it's not that much money uh, next thing I'm gonna do is probably take this light down and put a core a 61 core on the power feed to those lights and see if that gives me a better range so I can get a uh, more than 50 feet out of the garage door opener so in conclusion I ended up adding a 61 material ferrite core to that door 61 to that door and 61 to this door. However, I had to add the 31 material ferrite core to it also because with just the 61, I was only getting 20 feet. When I added the 31 to that one, I got another 50 feet out of it. So, and that's a newer garage door opener compared to the other first two there. The other thing I had to do was add the 61 ferrite cores to the lights themselves and that did improve the quality it, i guess it blocks the signal at the light before it gets to the uh, garage door opener so hopefully this helps you guys if you have uh, leds causing your problem